No, but I have a meeting. Well, let's do this thing. No, but even no, 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 no. This is the problem. That's the problem. With the this, this is the problem. With this friendship. <laughs> Okay guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Beniza and welcome back to Life with Beniza. I'm here with my friend, one of my closest friends in the world, Temisa. Temisa is a media presenter and he's a what what else are you? He's an influencer, he's a media presenter, content creator, a content creator and all of that thing. About he's my he's friend. An actor That's what I well. <laughs> you know, Temisa his career has just been skyrocketing. He's gotten like bigger, bigger, bigger. But sadly I don't even see him. I just see him as my friend. And he keeps telling me that he's That's not a Stephen star. Just yes, Stephen, but like you know how it is when your friends are stars, you just see them as your friend. The only reason why I'm now knowing he's a star is that he doesn't have time to pick my calls anymore. It's difficult to see him. I literally need to. Oh, we spoke I need to like register with his manager. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's fine. It's good. Made the feel. I made the feel the star power sometimes because they see me. Well, God is doing it for me. That's why I say yes, people so subscribe my friend, to my channel. So that's God. We raise me. We told this on three three views. We told this on three three views. But it's all for God. Remember I said you star. <laughs> actually, it's actually good to have you here. I Thank know you that so you are such a vibe. So when I thought of my guests on this show i thought about you and i thought that but it's kind of because of the topic we are talking about adult friendships mm -hmm. today we'll talk about something really exciting mm -hmm. it's something i've addressed in my previous video but i spoke about it in passing it's the issue of adult friendships and how you can manage your friendships as an adult mm -hmm. and i was saying that when you're growing up as a person that your friendships are also evolving so sometimes there are some people you've been friends with since you were a child and you grow up and you feel like you guys do not connect anymore and um, yes, you feel at every point in time, based on what you're going through, based on your current reality, you're looking for friends that you can connect with. So I thought to call him my friend. Our relationship has been through like, you know, it's ups and downs, topsy turvy. And yeah, so I thought it would be great for us to share our experiences on managing adult friendships. Yeah. Yeah. So we're just trying to like tell you a little bit about our friendship, give you a background and how we've been able to navigate through the tough times in our friendship, hoping that you can learn a thing or two. What do you think, Tanisa? I mean, like, um, navigating friendships is, I mean, it's with everybody, and a friendship that's supposed to last long, you have like ups and downs, it might be topsy turvy sometimes. Um, and uh, we're growing, we're not even just like um, adults, adults yet, proper. We're growing, we're in our 20s, there's so much that's happening with us career, friends, relationships, outside of our relationship, uh, family, and whatnot. So sometimes you, you get pulled away from your friends. Um, so that's need to pull them in. So all of these things are what we've worked over time, and I think we're doing pretty well. Yeah. Like in our friendship, whenever it feels like there's like some kind of breather, you always like make a conscious effort. For example, when it feels like we're not talking, you know, even if we go for some weeks without speaking, you still reach out. And mm -hmm. has it been like a deliberate effort to like make sure the friendship does not hit the rocks? Yeah, and I think at some point you have to make deliberate efforts with your friendships, even with your family relationships. Sometimes my, my mother can come home without speaking to me. She or sometimes she can go back to back I mean like every two days calling me. So there are times where you do not have to make deliberate efforts just so that you can maintain a balance in your friendships and your relationships. So when I was getting busy with my new life and new friends, I had to pause and realize, oh, there's some people who might be feeling some type of way because I'm not available as I used to be before. And for some people, like my friend, they might not be understanding enough. You have to preach it, you have to sing it and tell them that this is a new reality. Get on board because we're getting older and we have responsibility. So I have a corporate and I have a more structured life and you know, I have a nine to five and I think I have a little bit more time in my hands, yeah. No, you're in the corporate, I get it, but... Uh -huh. Go on. You will just come with... This friendship is not moving. This friendship, like, say with a friend or... Yeah. <laughs> well, you know that, like... Even my girlfriend, not my friendship. You see, you're not called me since... I'm just like, FYI, I'm cutting out all this part. Why not? Why? Because, because, you're, because you're making point. You want to think I'm a needy friend here. You are the no, needy friend. Never. You've always been a needy friend. And that's... <laughs> I get it. I'm fine with that. There's no problem. I accept it. There's no problem with that. But yes. Levels. Do you agree that sometimes you can be very, very distracted, highly distracted, and very as with insensitive to as with everything? You understand that you have that flaw. Yeah. So, so sometimes when I call you out and I'm like, okay, you need to realize that you don't you're being insensitive. <laughs> you don't have to be But you agree because you know. Oh no! Sometimes I know I can be very nonchalant. No chance That's the, the word. word. Yes, yes, yes. I yes. can be very carefree about things. I assume mm -hmm. that people should understand because I would understand. But some people are but not. But that's an assumption, which is wrong. 
So that's why when I call you, I'm like, no, this friendship is not moving forward. I'm contributing way less than I am. So, so that means I'm not, I'm not even wrong because you agree that you, you, you get nonchalant sometimes. But I admit that on my part, so it was difficult for us. So I'll give an example. Before I moved abroad, yeah, we used to be very like. I feel like where we were now, like you were not as big as you are now. I wasn't even doing yeah, anything. You, 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 like... well, you were not doing anything, and then we were, I we were both corporates at that time. So we used to be like closer, and then we used to have a lot of time where we could faff around or do a lot of things together. Not necessarily faff around, but we used to spend more time together. So like, I feel like when you had this break in your career, I was not present, and then returning back. Returning <laughs> back. <laughs> <laughs> And then returning back, I'm like, oh, the new team is all busy. Oh, like, it takes days before we talk to each other. So I accept that it was difficult for me to get used to the new schedule. <laughs> but so, so, so I think, so sometimes I may have acted out, I, I may have overreacted. I'm like, oh, like, I don't you think may? I may have. You may well, have. I accept it. I accept it. I accept it. I take responsibility uh, so for so that one. Person on camera. Yeah, of, yeah, yes, camera. Absolutely. On camera. <laughs> but you know that you also left to the UK. Mm -hmm. Did you ask me how I adjusted? Yeah, but I was always calling you like no, every but day. You were not present. You were not going to check in public to, with me every day. We we're not in the office doing office gossip together. I probably have to call you maybe when you're out of the office. Mm -hmm. But did you ask me how I dealt well, with I that? Well, I did. So because we were still communicating, I, I felt like that was like, I felt like we're good. But it wasn't it. It wasn't you, you present. But well, so did. because like, you're, I you're now, Libra. I understood that it's a, I'm a Libra. I understood you know, it was a time of your life where you needed to do other things with your life. Mm -hmm. You could have even decided to stay in the UK. What would I do about that? I thought they found my friend would be saying they they are abroad. You understand? So I'm I like I don't know, like I get on with life, like it's the reality. I, I move on and do things. It doesn't necessarily mean that we're not friends. So for me, I just think that as we grow, there's some certain things that should be understood, that should be implied. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I admit that sometimes I may have like gone overboard with all my reactions as to your not being available. So you carry yourself comes with camera. <laughs> That's the most dramatic video. episode I've ever done. I have to add the video. That's the most dramatic. Stupid. You know what? Stupid. Tell me, come, Mister. Nice. We're not calling you until all of us are just coming out one day. Back for downstairs. <laughs> the reception is because so this because it is your weaknesses that you're now throwing towards me. And if it's not at your convenience, you don't do anything for this thing. How do you explain that any time that I need your help with something, you're always too distracted to help me? It was an issue. You had your strong views as to why you couldn't help me. Spend the night in your house. Help me. Let's do this content today. You ask me, come over. And I come over. You faffed around up to the morning. You couldn't help me. I went home without nothing. So this is, there's several counts of you always not coming through for me for the basic things that I need. <laughs> <laughs> As I come and say, just plant camera for, for this. We talk about this friendship. <laughs> what, 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 I sacrificed. I'm this place is running mad. <laughs> I hope it was content for YouTube at first. So I was even <laughs> trying to play along. I can't say it's serious. Too. From then on, it's something they talk to me. Is this part of? I don't know what to look bad in this video, but this video you could look bad. No, I don't. I, I, if it's look bad, we we'll do we'll do another one. Yeah. But I, I think it makes sense. So like this now puts what I was saying into perspective that you need to like see things from. Different both angles, both angles. So, like, I feel like I was talking based on what I needed at the moment and what I felt. I didn't think that I well, I wasn't rational enough to understand that you had the things you were dealing with. And I was like, oh, this guy is changing. Oh, what's happening to our friendship? And I, I remember I made a, a actually clear case. I made a clear case that anytime I needed you to come through for me, you felt like you just had a reason why you couldn't. Okay, and that got to me because I said something to you. I said like. If I get arrested, I don't feel like you will come through for me because you'll be busy doing something else. So if I felt that way, I feel like it was valid for me to act out the way I did. Bitch, get arrested first. Let's see who no, no, aside because I'm those people who who cannot help you. <laughs> no, because they call you say, "Oh my God, are you feeling well?" No, bitch. Like I'm not supposed to be bitch. Like because you want you want PDA. I'm not going to do PDA for you. Even with the people I'm dating. My lovers, I don't do PDA with them. Well, to me, do, oh my God, even if you they arrested you, Jesus Christ. I'm not going to do that. If that's what drives What I'm friendship. doing immediately is calling the IGP. Hey! <laughs> you know me. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I am going to do the needful. 
Yes. Not what I. Not look yeah, but, so, but but I need to. Well, well, at that point, I just felt like you were so nonchalant. I felt like if anything happened, I needed to come through from it. I remember anyway. We even had instances we where we had things that happened. No, we'll when talk about I, wanted to, I can't talk about it. We want, we want you to be catch fire. Yeah, no, that's so silly logic in that. that. So we friends. I think that you have to first of all. Some people don't understand who their friends are. Some people have been friends with some people for years. I don't know their friends. Let me give an example of my other friend that is not Eben. Me and Steven have been best friends since like uni. Initially, Steven had I thought that Steven had a terrible attitude. Because he was even worse than I, I am now or non challenge. Like Steven is a yes and no person. There's no emotion, there's no what is wrong with you. Do you need to go to the hospital, get the drugs, how much is this? If I have to pay, I'll pay. But there's no how are you feeling now? Uh, which it it burns it burns the exact same. The chop hand. How are you feeling? Well, well, how is it doing you? I'm Pisces. So with that my friend, I had to understand that this is how it is. He will care for you. Mm-hmm. But it doesn't necessarily come out. He's a he's a Nigerian man. Mm. This is your character. If like I say now nah, I'll abroad where you still let me do this one. <laughs> we, we are we not go- wired like this. No, it's, 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 it's not a culture thing. I think it's a personality yeah. thing. Okay, wait. Okay. And so I'm trying to I'm making the effort to understand you and how nonchalant you can be, even when you you actually care. Yeah. Yeah. You should not focus to- on nonchalance, you should mm. focus on who your friend is. You understand? Mm. So if your friend But is you like- agree that we were both wrong. Do you believe, like, at some point, like, we actually got, so you got too busy doing other things, and then I got too um, irrational, expecting too much. You got so much? Irrational. <laughs> you have a lot of time for English, I think. What was so irrational about it? Irrational, like, so, like, I, I didn't care about, like, I, di- I didn't understand that. So, I, I was supposed to be more understanding and say, okay, he has a career, he has a lot of things he needs to do, he has things going on for him, and I need to give him a breather, yeah? But like, I don't think I did that. I was like, oh, he's not there in this friendship. He's not available. He's very nonchalant. I don't think he wants to be friends with me anymore. So I feel like at some point we got to. I don't to, know why you but, kept doing that. Yeah, but did you think about why you kept being as nonchalant as you were? I'm needy. That's fine. Agreed. I accepted it in my chest. Mm-hmm. I'm needy. But I can't be everybody. I can't be everybody. I can't be. Okay, from, fair. That's no, why so I'm needy. I need more. Yes, that's what that's I'm saying. That's what so, friendship is about. Making compromise, reaching decisions that. Both um, impact both parties, yeah. So this happened, and then we stopped talking for a while because he felt like, oh, I had this energy I was bringing to him that wasn't good, and I felt like, oh, he was becoming a star and was acting anyhow. And so I think at some point we just stopped talking. I think we even moved apartment. We didn't talk. A couple of things happened in our lives. But I'm missing coins. I have it. Get out! I say, Fimi, Jit, relax yourself. I'm missing call you because I have a heart of gold. Let it be on how record. Do, how do we find our way back to where we are? I understand that we are still walking through it. We're not there 100 percent back because I noticed there was a lot of toxicness. There was a lot of um, at some point we're like we're not having it. We're not going to deal with it. So how do we put this into perspective so that people who are actually uh, dealing with rocky parts in their friendships? So that they can uh, learn a thing or two and know how to manage their relationships better. I mean, for for me, I think that healthy friendships must come with empathy, compromise, and I mean, being ready to listen. With friendship, for me, it's about companionship, growth, winning together, and whatnot. We do. Sorry, 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 sorry. You know, sometimes like we are blackmailing our friends emotionally, but it's not like we mean to, but we just don't know. Sometimes we're very consumed with. We're used to doing it. We're, we're consumed with what we are going through and what we want from the friendships that we are blackmailing the other person emotionally, and we just don't know. We get carried away. Because every type of relationship is based on what we want. Whether we like it or not, mm-hmm. is selfish. Why do I want some a friend who is funny? Because I want to always be happy and laugh. That's what I want. Why do I want a friend? Who is good to always listen to me because I am needy like him? Why do I want a friend who's probably popular because I need the clout? There are different reasons why we want different people in our lives, you understand? And it's the same with every relationship, you understand? It's symbiotic most of the time. But also, we must also now come to a compromise and say, this is why, this is our friendship, Mm -hmm. this is it on the table, what are we going to take or what are we not going to take? Mm -hmm. What sort of empathy, like, I'm not going to have empathy on you and understand this is how you are, regardless. Is it something you can change or work on? If it's not something you can change or work on, will I be ready to deal with it as your mm-hmm. friend? So that when issues like this come up, we understand what it is about. Mm-hmm. We can deal with it because we have empathy first and mm-hmm. we have understanding in this friendship. Mm-hmm. For friendship is for you to get better, it's between two people. 
there's love in your friendship, there's companionship, there's growth, there's learnings, there's so many things you can take away from friendship. But for you who has, someone like you who has a career, I have my career, it might be faster than you, fast paced than yours. You have structure, the 9 to 5, you come back, you can call me at 9. But, but at 9 p.m. when you're calling me, I'm probably on set. I'm true. probably out and about mingling with people in the industry just to get ahead. So all of these things, and, and I assume that That's you would so understand true. that. But Sometimes it's nothing to say that I understand, mm -hmm. but there's nothing for you to so actually, actually understand. understand. Well, true, true. That's what where you your friend is coming from. So, yeah. Yeah. So, like I said in my previous video, I said that you know, at some point in my life, aside from my friendship, I actually I just met you like a couple of years ago. We've not known ourselves since childhood. So I was saying that a lot of people like they grow up and they feel like all the people that they used to like, who they used to care about, they don't feel like there's any connection. They don't feel like they mm -hmm. like them anymore. And I feel like, and it applies to us because we, when we met each other, we're already adults and. I think we had other people in our lives and then when we met we we're just like friends and started doing everything together so people who are feeling but the thing is that you move on and then your old friends they start to feel like oh he's changed he's becoming proud okay because and if you're a bit more successful they think oh you have a little bit of money or you're doing well in your career mm. that's why you're feeling like you can move on from them so mm. how do you find peace with yourself and how do you manage those friendships mm. you don't really care about them that much not like you don't care you care about them but they are not your ride or dies so how do you manage those friendships why still um being at peace with yourself for moving on so there's a saying that says um 20 kids can play together for 20 years what and it's so true because as you grow you find different levels of yourself mm. and your friend may not be at the level where you are for example can't wait to do a shower before for the road <laughs> she can't marry what if she only goes south road before she play with her friend for again <laughs> That's you so true. friends where your values don't align anymore, the things they're looking forward to. Have you, have you ever spoken to some of your friends who are like, what kind of yes, this is like, what was I doing with them? Shamonness. Shamonness is the correct way to speak. Yeah, so you just find yourself that you are attracted to only the real ones. When mm. I say real ones, you, you, you guys can have different careers, different lives, but something always brings you back together mm. because mm. people have almost the same values. You are spirit animals. Um, this person must actually say people are actually joined by the heap mm. you understand so we have to be honest about this not everybody will be your friend for the longest time sure, sure. understand that as you grow in life mm -hmm. you lose some friends you will gain some and at different levels and they're, they're different for different levels in your life that god mm -hmm. brings to your life for some for some time it can be that somebody who just keep you grounded and keep you disciplined that's mm -hmm. the kind of friend you have the next level might be somebody who would help you financially Less person will be somebody who just teach you things that you need to learn. And there but in all those levels, there are some people that will always be constant in those True. levels of friendship. Mm -hmm. So you will keep those ones because they fire your spirits, they fire your inner yeah. being, you understand? They align with your values. That one day, you understand? And also, how do you keep those people? Is having empathy, compromise mm -hmm. at every level mm -hmm. to say, Oh, this is my friend. Okay, this is where I am at now. Well, mentally, this is where I am at. Oh, I cannot do this, I cannot do that. But we understand because it's empathy, mm -hmm. there's compromise mm -hmm. between two friends. You understand? Mm -hmm. But if those ones now not understand this understand. one, carry your load. <laughs> 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 if I just do my friend will follow me, go. True, true, mm -hmm. true, true. And that's, true. that's goes to you as well. Yeah. You will be I will leave you first. <laughs> If you uh, become so busy that you don't have time for your friend, you've done it before, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so how many times have we had? Oh, yeah. How many times have we had like major like debacles. debacles in our friendships? Is it like I think it's just twice. The first time when I was in London and we we're virtual, but with the core is strong. Mm -hmm. And then just recently. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's like yeah. too strong to yeah. well, the thing is that, yeah, so we had it, and so at every point in time, even while like we're not talking, I still had the fear back of my mind of like, you know what, I may have lost a friend, but my pride, but, my ego did not allow but me. But I not get you, I have the heart of gold. Like when you say we don't call it, just say, I just listen, let me not give this video some time because I don't have the energy. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching my video. <laughs> You can say stupid truth. You're so stupid. stupid. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, you call this think, context think, for your statement. I think our friendship is based on stupidity. Yeah, that's why. Uh, that's so when we're normal, that's why, you, that's why I want to be serious with you. You're boring with me because you like stupidity. Yeah. Please, so the, you're trying to say I'm stupid. Yeah. You are stupid, my friend. But that's why, that's why we like you. I want to do my outro. Allow me, please. So, so, so if you just want to join. No, we'll cut it out. I can't cut it. Anything that will make me look bad in front of my subscribers. Uh, that's why you are still on three videos. <laughs>
<laughs> you just want them to show. Be vulnerable and let them see who you are. Thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you've learned a thing or two about managing adults' friendships from my experience. So it was very difficult for us, but we actually decided to be vulnerable about our friendship so that you can pick a thing or two about how we've been able to navigate our easier. way through the hurdles in our friendship. Thank you guys for watching my video. And once again, please bye guys. Wait, wait, wait. Please like, subscribe, and comment to my friend Shine. This is for me. Yes. My friend needs followers. <laughs> Three views will not watch it. Please do three views, four, five views. Please see what you stop it. Thank stop you. It. Please watch, comment, subscribe, watch, and share enjoy with your my friends. channel. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Bye. I don't try. At least I don't do good don't friends. Work. I don't come here shining. You can't. <laughs> Same thing. Same thing. Okay, let's do this. Okay, guys. Thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you liked it too, not too about. It's too perfect. Yeah, that's fine. Perfection. You need these inflections, all these things that you do. Perfection. All this stupidity. You need it. Perfection is the disease of a nation. <laughs>